Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lizelle Sambri. I'm a young adult author and today I thought it would be fun to guess what I think the next trends in YA or young adult books is going to be and to share that with you. I will say a huge disclaimer up front, these are not based in fact, I don't have any magic special <laughs> insider information, this is not like what agents and editors are looking for, these are my guesses based on things that I've noticed as to what I think future trends in why it will be in the next like, f I don't know, the next like two to five years basically. So what I don't want is I don't want people to be like, I don't know, running off and being like, this is like the next big thing. This is what Lizelle Sanford said, because it is not based in fact. These are my completely wild guesses about what I think trends will be. And I will explain why I think that, but they're just fun, wild guesses. This is just absolutely for fun. So I will say that loud and clear so you know that's the deal and then we can jump straight into my wild predictions. My first prediction for YA trends is horror. I think horror is gonna like blow up as a genre in YA and I'm not just saying that because I have a horror on submission because I like am writing horror now. I just like I feel like that's the way the wind's been blowing for the last couple years. So um, last year at a book con, I was, remember book con? <laughs> uh, I was hanging out with a friend and they were like, hey, have you ever thought about writing horror? And I was like, hmm, I am interested in writing horror because I'm such a horror movie fan. Um, but I hadn't really known. I was like, I don't really know how it's doing in books or like in YA. And they had said, my agent thinks horror is up and coming. And uh, I think I'm going to write a horror. And I was like, okay, up and coming. So again, again, remember the disclaimer. This is what one person's agent said so don't go buck wild with it but and then I was like yeah I want to like write a horror and I ended up getting into my whole haunted house book thing but then I don't know if it was like confirmation bias or what it was it suddenly felt like everybody was writing a horror like every time I talked to another writer they were like yeah I'm like working on this horror and I was like oh okay and then suddenly like announcements started popping up so tiffany d jackson announced that she has two horrors that are coming and then bethany c bethany c morrow like off the back of it announced that she had a horror book coming out and i was like oh, it's happening <laughs> i don't know so I just like that made that happen and then some recently some other authors have been like announcing horror books and I think the thing about like especially once I dived more into horror and like reading horror is I don't find that there's a lot of horror books in YA. Um, so I feel like it's like an open genre, like there's space to step into it, especially like even when you think of like adult horrors that have started like popping up and doing really well besides the adult horror novel novelists that were always there. Um, so like The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson, which is like dark fantasy and kind of horror. Um, and then Mexican Gothic, which is like straight horror. Those are adult titles that have like been picking up. And I feel like it's just like, the wave is going to move to YA and like when those announcements came out for horror I was like mm hmm and especially like fantasy horror because fantasy is always already so big and like saturated but like when you pull yourself into like this fantasy horror like this dark fantasy horror genre you kind of give yourself more space so I think that horror is gonna be the next big thing I think we're gonna like see a boom of young adult horror. We know that vampires are having a comeback. That's very obvious. There's lots of vampire books coming out, mostly from established authors. And now we're seeing more like debut vampires, so like newer authors getting their, uh, getting their fangs into it, if you wanna get cheesy there. Um, and so, that my prediction is not vampires, because vampires is already happening. <laughs> my prediction is werewolves werewolves so I just like 
once you do vampires, like you can't start doing vampires and not do werewolves. That doesn't make any sense to me. That's just the natural progression. You know, like back in the day when vampires were a big thing, right off the back of the vampires, werewolves, true blood, and obviously Sookie Stackhouse series, not true blood. Anyway, vampires, then werewolves, were panthers. What else were there? I think that was it. <laughs> Twilight, vampires, werewolves off the back of it. I just feel like it's the natural progression. And also internally, I want to see werewolves flourish. I don't really like vampires. I don't have a lot of interest in vampires. They're too frou-frou. It's like too elegant. It's too much for me. But werewolves, rough and tumble, gritty, very interested in werewolves. And I just feel like it's just the way it's gonna go. You know, we just need the one new werewolf book, you know, to kick it off. Or like maybe somebody just needs to add it into their little vampire series. I just feel like that's the way it's gonna go. Do I have any concrete examples for this? Can I point to any werewolf books that are being sold? Absolutely not. But it just seems like the way it should go, you know? And I think this I do have like legit facts for, but I think <laughs> paranormal in itself is going to have a resurgence. And we're already seeing it because urban fantasy was like, nobody wanted to let you do urban fantasy, which I did not know when I wrote my urban fantasy, but anyway, it worked out fine. <laughs> but, but now like, there's this boom of like witches in 2021. There's so many witch books and they're not all urban fantasy. In fact, I don't even think most of them are urban fantasy, but <laughs> there's a resurgence of witches there. There's a resurgence of fairies. It just seems like paranormal is having its comeback. I just think that's the way it's so witches, fairies, ghosts, what are the other paranormal things? Werewolves, I've already mentioned. I just think that it's gonna be this huge resurgence of paranormal. So that's, and I think the proof's in the pudding. Like there's so many witch books, you know? I think that horror angle could pull in the ghosts without calling it paranormal. The fairies are definitely already there. So it just feels like that's it. Like paranormal's back. Like that's my prediction anthologies. This is my next one. So I don't know if this is like truly a future Y trend or if this is just a present trend, but I remember there was a period of time where people were like, anthologies don't sell. Anthologies sell poorly. Um, we can't just keep doing anthologies over and over again. Like they don't sell well. And so like there was this like always, I don't know if it's even whisper network, but there was definitely an idea that anthologies were not doing well. And yet, so many anthologies keep being sold. Like, so I feel like anthologies are probably doing a lot better than we think, or maybe publishers just don't care. And they're just like anthology, anthology, anthology. But I think we're just gonna keep seeing more and more short story anthologies. And it's just gonna be like a big boom. I don't know what the longevity of that will be. I don't know if we'll reach a point where like suddenly publishing will be sick to death of anthologies and you'll never see any. But I just feel like when people thought it was going to slow down it hasn't slowed down at all it's just increased and especially like I think we'll see we're already seeing this really like a reimagining of how anthologies can be done so like the whole um, broken mirror series like it's not an anthology but it's several authors and they're writing each one is writing a book in a series so it's like not an anthology but it's a similar sort of thing or like blackout that's coming that was announced that's an anthology but the stories are interconnected that sort of thing so i don't think anthologies are going anywhere that's my prediction all the fluffy rom-coms this is my feel i feel that there will be it's these <laughs> these predictions are interacting strangely because now i'm imagining this huge boom of horror and dark fantasy alongside this boom of fluffy rom-coms i just think that the way covid was going like back when it well it's not it's not exactly better but you know back when it was like even if you when there was no hope when it felt like it was only going to get worse 
I think then like there was definitely a feeling that editors were like send me happy stuff send me the rom-coms send me the romance send me the cute things that make me forget about what's happening in life and so I just feel like what happened to all of those something must have happened to all of those books because those were the books that were being requested so i imagine that people were submitting to them and i feel like a bunch of them sold and i feel like it's just we're gonna down the pipeline you know when they start announcing stuff for 2023 or like even not even 2023 maybe even 2022 we're gonna start to see this boom of all of these cute fluffy rom-coms that all the editors wanted to read to not feel sad <laughs> during you know the bleakest COVID times, again, not necessarily much better, but you know, I guess there were bleaker times, but I just expect to see those, you know, explode and that we'll suddenly have like all these announcements coming up for all these like super fluffy, cute rom-coms. So my final prediction, and this one is a little bit controversial. And I know it's controversial, but I'm going to say it because I think it's going to happen. Partially, it's like, of two parts because I have faith in people and because I don't have faith in people <laughs> but it is the pandemic novel it's going to happen I feel and so I feel there's two parts to this so I think there's gonna be the people that do the bad take pandemic novels like they write some weird fantasy it's just like a bad compare like I'm I feel like those are coming and you might think wow but why would publishing buy that and like sometimes publishing is wild sometimes it is so wild with the stuff they pick up and so I do not doubt that someone out there might be like yep I want that hot take fantasy pandemic novel I think if it got shut down it would be shut down for being dystopian way more than it would be shut down for being pandemic aligned um so there's that half of it but there's also the other half of it and I feel like people will find a way to address how you know teen lives were affected by the pandemic in a way that is like focused on like character development and like inner stuff and like less pandemic stuff and I think that will have its time in the sun coming up especially like looking like three to five years down the line assuming that things get better I feel like after a one year buffer we're gonna start to see those roll out because it's just like it's the way people are and I just expect it of people. And I think that it's going to happen regardless of whether anyone asked for it. I just think it's going to come. Uh, yeah, again, because like the believing in people is the people that are like some, I feel like there's something to address with teens here, something that can like help them work through stuff. And then the others that are like, I think this will be a sexy pandemic novel because I don't know what's appropriate or not. So I think it's gonna happen. That's it for my wild YA book trend predictions based not truly on fact. <laughs> Again, completely wild speculation, uh, but I had fun and hopefully you had fun watching. And if you wanna make your own what you think YA book trends or whatever book trends are coming in the future video, by all means, join in. I'm pretty sure I'm not the first person to make a video like this, and I probably won't be the last. So yeah, but also you can comment below with your own predictions. I think that'd be super cool to like hear what people think is going to be the next big thing, because I think it's so interesting with publishing is like, I guess depending in certain circles, you might have more data, but I also feel like publishers themselves are like, always kind of looking for the next big thing and that they themselves even are not 100% sure on what that might be. They're just kind of using whatever the data they have and trying to come up with hypotheses. So I think it's cool and fun to guess at these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, I don't know why I pointed up there, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.